I'm Wes Lancaster, the third billionaire bad boy, as it were. I own the New York Mavericks, Bad Restaurant, am a silent investor in several startup companies across the United States, and yeah, I'm worth three or four billion dollars. Sounds like the same old story, right? I'll admit, even to me, who'd rather not lump himself into the billionaire bad boy heap with the likes of Thatcher Kelly, the basics are startlingly similar. But the difference between Thatch, Klein, and me is that they keep avid track of each dollar. Granted, their reasons vary greatly from one another, and I've never been one to focus on the numbers. I know a ballpark figure, and I know what that ballpark figure means. It means freedom. Freedom to live my life as I please, spend money tastefully but often, and enjoy all the things I appreciate with abandon. Women, cars, travel, and time. Each and every one can be mine on my terms. I like the control. I like the escapism. I like being in charge of my own life. Money may not buy happiness, but it definitely buys opportunity. For me, that opportunity comes in many forms, the most notable being my ability to live the dream of owning a National Football League team. My staff knows by the level of my involvement, something they like to whisper creative epithets about, that the desire to do so has absolutely nothing to do with the money and position and everything to do with being a part of the experience. I've overheard the very technical description of annoyingly present more than once. And God fucking damn it, he's here again, this is horseshit, even more than that. But now my interest has grown deeper, more complexly woven into the staff. Specifically, Winnie Winslow, the new team physician. And not only do I not stay away... I can't. She's everything I don't want. Strong-willed, demanding, a mother to a young child. But as it turns out, maybe the joke is on me. My brain says she'll ruin everything, but my heart says she's everything I can't live without. Normally my brain rules the day, making the important decisions and keeping me from the certain agony a romantic entanglement would bring to my life. But apparently, now, there's a new, beating, four-chambered fuck of a guy in charge. He says this is the last time this book is about me. Because now, thanks to Winnie and Lexi Winslow, I'm a very big we. This is us.